Hey guys, Mark here for Rumble Cloud RC. Um, I'm going to start a 450 build here. Uh, we just got a 450 frame here, and I got the top plate already bolted to the arms. I purchased some 500 skids for the bottom plate. And here's the little battery. I'm going to put the battery down on the bottom, very bottom plate. What I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to keep everything off of this plate up here, except for maybe the ESC. I, I'm planning on uh, installing the ESC up on top, and that's it in case it does. Uh, this one I'm, I plan on doing, you know, trying to learn how to do some of the stunts or whatever with this, so when it falls on its top, I don't want anything like the board or whatever to get ruined. So that's my plan is to try to get everything down off of that top plate except for the ESC. Um, earlier I showed you how to uh, bind the new receiver to the Turnigy 9X transmitter. And uh, so right now what I'm going to do is uh, I got the Q-Brain. It's a 4-in-1 25 amp ESC from uh, Hobby King. And this is what I'm going to use for the project. The motors are Turnigy D283011, 1100 kV. I got four of them. They're already plugged into the ESC. What I got to do here is I'm going to try to do my throttle range, program the throttle range into this quattro or into the Q brain um, using my receiver. Uh, what I did here is I incorporated some wires into the uh, power source that plugs into the battery and what with four little plugs on here and what these are going to be used for if later if I want to install some lights to my quad then I could just plug those lights into this so it's already pre-wired for it or I pre-wired it. Um, the Quattro or the Q-Brain comes with this what they call a throttle hub and you plug your ESC uh, servo type wires into this hub and then plug the hub into uh, channel 3 of your receiver that's your throttle and what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to do the throttle range, program the throttle range into this ESC um, before I install anything else to it. So I already got all the motors plugged into it. And what's going to happen here is first you take the throttle stick and you put it all the way up to the top on your transmitter. Then you grab a battery here. We're going to plug the battery in first to the ESC and you should get uh, like a couple of beeps and then after I do that after I plug it in and I hear a couple beeps then I'm going to take this throttle and put it all the way down until I hear some more beeps and then as soon as that is done then that means that my throttle range is set on the ESC then I'll unplug it turn everything off plug it back in and check the motors and make sure that they're spinning right with the throttle okay so I'm going to go ahead and do this now plug in the ESC there's that sound now I'm going to turn on the transmitter. Once I turn on the transmitter, I'm going to take the stick and move it all the way down. And uh, I've already programmed this ESC for the throttle range, so you didn't hear no beeps, but you normally would get the beeps, and that would tell you that this is the throttle range is set for this and uh, for this ESC. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it, turn the transmitter off. This time I'm going to plug or turn the transmitter back on with the throttle stick all the way down. I'm going to plug in the ESC and I'm going to make sure that these motors work. They'll probably jump around a little bit, but I want to make sure that they're working. Yep. Okay, yeah. okay, they're all working. So now I have the throttle range set. Alright, we'll do some more on it later.